Captain Dom, certainly an outstanding leader, outstanding presenter, and uh, did an amazing job today. The work of leadership is too important to leave to top management. Captain Dom, you know, real life examples, um, great presentation skills, and very relatable to what I do. The most often asked question I got was simply, how do you guys do that? How do you go out every day and push the limits of human capability six days a week for 11 and a half months of the year for two years every day and do it safely? How do you do that? And I've thought a lot about that and in my mind it comes down to one big idea. Captain Dom gave an outstanding presentation today. You know, it's uh, being a former Marine, I can definitely see the correlation between uh, the military characteristics that he put in his presentation and certainly what we do as a business. Things that he discussed during this presentation um, absolutely made sense. You go through win-win to over here in the far right of the continuum is what we call high trust and this is where the magic happens. This is that rarefied air of I trust you, period. I felt that Captain Dom did an excellent job of taking his experience with, uh, with the Blue Angels, being a leader, and relating it well to almost anybody in that room. What if you were considered the most trustworthy person in loss prevention? What would that mean? Well, it would mean that if there was a challenge or an opportunity, guess who they're coming to? I had the good fortune to hear Captain Don present twice in one year. And just as the first one, I was totally impressed with his delivery, his content, how he related his experiences in the military as a, 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 an elite leader and tied them to our business. And during that time, I never forgot the lesson, the tragedy that our Air Force brethren, the Thunderbirds, Brand X we call them, the Walgreens of the flight demonstration world. <laughs> great guys and we have a lot of fun and there's great competition there both to each team's benefit but they suffered on January 18th 1982 they were doing a formation loop and training in their practice area north of Las Vegas and when you're flying this close together the wingmen aren't looking around enjoying the scenery they are focused intently on that airplane that's two feet away from them in front of them and they were doing a formation loop, line abreast, and the leader didn't pull out. And they put four supersonic fighters, symmetrically spaced, into the desert floor, killing all four pilots. So the challenge for me was, how do I come in here and earn the level of trust of my wingmen so that they will literally come to work every day willing to put their life in my hands. What would that take? There were five things that I had to pay attention to in order to be successful. And I had to pay attention to all five. The good news is that if you work on one, it reinforces the other four. But you need all five to have a, have a team of power. And it's based on the axiom that in order to be trusted, you must be trustworthy. And for each one of the five, there was a question that my team was asking about me every single day. And depending upon the answer they got, they would decide to what level they would trust me. Were they going to fly here, or were they going to fly somewhere out here? I certainly recognize that uh, each one of the five C's that he identified are extremely important. Um, and I think it's a realistic approach, um, taking one or two of the characteristics and put them into play in your real lives. None of us would have ever said that we were the best pilots in the Navy and Marine Corps because there are extraordinarily talented aviators, men and women, flying off of aircraft carriers, expeditionary airfields, and amphibious ships all around the world, day and night, throughout the year. But we would have said with absolute conviction that for two years, we were the best team of pilots in the world. Being able to take what he learned from leadership uh, of a team like that and getting it to make sense for someone in retail or any business for that matter, 
Uh, it just makes sense the way he puts it out there. A year from now, when you're reflecting back on 2014, and somebody says to you from outside, how did, how did you guys do that? I hope you'll think back to our conversation today and the work that you've done throughout the year and you smile and you say to yourself, not only did we do it, but we lined up, we got Blue Angel close, we turned on the smoke, and we did it better than anybody in the world. Thanks very much.